Hello guys and welcome back to Simply Sue Olu. Um, it's been quite a while and I'm glad to be back. I keep saying that. I don't know why I do say that, but I suppose it's a, a habit. Excuse me. Hello guys, you're welcome back to Simply Sue Olu's channel. If you're new here, just be patient with me, wait and see what's gonna happen, okay? And if you're a returning subscriber, I'm not gonna take your time today. I just want to say thank you to everyone. Um, you will notice that for the past three, four, five weeks, I have not really been posting uh, content. I believe that this time around, we actually need to uh, be praying for Ukraine. I know that a lot of people are praying, and I'm not taking it for granted that, you know, and I'm not saying that I'm the only one praying or I am praying. I'm just saying, let's continue to pray. Thank you for those who are praying. I do know that people are saying that um, there are other countries that are worse off. I don't know which other countries could be worse off than what is happening right now. I do know that, um, yes, there are other countries that are not as wealthy, well-to-do, organized, as Ukraine but the point right now is that Ukraine is going through war and uh, a lot of people have been, have been displaced from their you know town from their nation from their cities from their land and uh, when you have to uh, carry all your means of livelihood and your life basically is in a backpack uh, it is not something that you joke with and you're displaced into a nation or a place a country that you've never been, you know nobody, and um, you know in a rush, in a hurry. Not that you plan it. It is quite, um, you know, traumatic. So I do know that thousands of Ukrainians are, are going through trauma. Uh, even though they're coming abroad, they're going coming to UK, they're going different places with backpack, leaving everything that they've ever worked for, uh, you know, in um, back home. It is quite a difficult situation. So I want us to just continue to remember them in prayer and to appreciate those who are praying for them all over the world. And we're just going to pray for the peace of God to be upon the lives of those who have fled uh, Ukraine. Uh, and for those who have lost their loved ones, that the Lord will give them peace. The Lord will help them to be able to overcome the trauma. Father, we just want to commend the Ukrainians into your hands. We're praying, oh God, for your peace. I know that this is kind of ironic when they're going through war and turbulent time and we're talking about peace. But you are the only God, the Prince of Peace, who can give peace in the midst of turbulence. We're praying that you will give your sons and your daughters peace, even in the midst of this war. As many of them has have been displaced, we're praying that you will help them to cope you will help them to adjust. It is not easy for you to find yourself in a foreign place where you don't understand the language, you have nothing to offer, you have nothing to depend on, you have nothing of your own. It's like you're dependent on charity, a charitable deeds of the nation, of the people that you have fled to. It is quite traumatic, not to talk of the fact that some of these people have lost their loved ones we're praying father that you will step in into this situation we're praying that you will touch every heart every individual every man every woman boy or girl you know that have been displaced that have you know lost their properties their lives or i mean their loved ones that you will give them unusual peace peace that the world cannot understand give unto them we pray in the name of jesus father we're praying for peace even between russia nato and ukraine we're praying for a solution you are the only solution we pray that you will prefer the solution speedily that an end will come to this war and these people will be able to live again in peace and harmony in the mighty name of Jesus. We're praying for the countries that have taken them on, that you will help those countries to be able to cope with the emotional trauma, the physical trauma, the psychological trauma of dealing with people that have gone through so much. 
that we help these countries to, to be able to meet them at the point of their needs. God, we are praying you will supply the needs of the Ukrainian as well as the countries that have taken them in. Father, we pray that you will step in into this situation quickly and speedily. Thank you, King of Glory, for we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Guys, I am in Liverpool and I'll probably show you a little bit of uh, the town centre from my hotel room. Hello guys, um, this is the town centre from my window. This is what uh, Liverpool looks like. I uh, will try and see if I can zoom in, you can see all the way back, back to the, to the hill. So this is Liverpool, Liverpool, Liverpool. Liverpool, proper Liverpool, not Liverpool Street in London, but Liverpool as in Liverpool uh, from my hotel window. But, uh, as you can see from my surrounding, this is an hotel room. But I just thought, let's find the fact that I, I need to do things. I still need to stop and do this video to pray for Ukraine because I have the opportunity to just chill. I have the opportunity to do what I want to do, how I want to do it. But these people just woke up one morning and their lives were turned upside down. A lot of them have been killed, their homes destroyed, their properties destroyed, that they will never be able to get back for life. Most of them now have been displaced, um, running with only a backpack. <laughs> when you have a home, you have a family, and all you can do is to get out of the house with a backpack. What can you really pack in a bag? You can't pack your home, your life, 20 years, 40 years, 50 years of your life into a backpack. So I thought, yeah, it's, it's an opportunity and a privilege and an honor for me to be able to just say a word of prayer. So I want to thank you for joining me in saying this prayer. And I pray that the Lord will answer our prayers and step in into the situation between Ukraine, NATO, and Russia. And the Bible says that the heart of the king is in God's hands. I'm trusting that the Lord God Almighty will touch the hearts of the leaders and will bring a solution speedily. Thank you guys. And uh, I will see you in my next video. And if you can help me to subscribe to my channel, I will really appreciate it so that we can take this channel to the next level. Uh, thank you. God bless. See you.